uh, in Syria, of course, which has become an area where two superpowers are operating, the great fear is an accidental interaction between Russia and the U.S. Is that a possibility? Well, we've seen Russian incursions into Turkish airspace multiple times now. We've seen the problems with deconfliction, U.S. pilots and uh, Russian pilots now in the air. And so what you worry about is a superpower miscalculation. I don't think anybody wants that sort of a conflict. But at no time since the Cuban Missile Crisis has there been a greater risk, in my judgment, of a miscalculation by superpowers that causes a confrontation. What do you think of that, Michelle? I, I think it is a very real risk. What you've seen is the reemergence of real tension with Russia. Not in that we're going back to the Cold War, but you have Russia basically going into Syria to prop up the Assad regime. Let's be clear about what they're doing. They're not fighting ISIS as much as they're propping up Assad. They're trying to keep their strategic toehold in the Middle East, their warm water port, and they're trying to put forces on the ground that will give them cards to play when, if and when there's finally a negotiation for what comes after Assad. But in the meantime, they're not coordinating. They're not really interested in even de deconfliction, right. and they're taking a real risk that an accident could occur um, and that that could escalate.